This is my uh, little robot, robotic parrot named Polymer. Uh, he is uh, 3D printed out of ABS plastic with some PLA, the wings of PLA, the rest of them is ABS. He's running on an Arduino Mega uh, using software that I wrote. Um, I haven't done a lot of programming, uh, but like I basically had like one program that I've tweaked a lot to do one specific task, which is be able to control multiple servos simultaneously and be able to do like animation sequences with it. Um, let's see, I designed him all in uh, Google SketchUp, well, now it's called Tribble SketchUp, the 3D drawing program. Um, part of this was a uh, educational lesson for me to start sculpting uh, from scratch in three dimensions. Uh, at work, I usually draw just in two dimensions. Um, for a job, I, work, I run a uh, 3-axis CNC router. And uh, uh, I'm lucky enough to be able to run my 3D printer at work. Uh, so this took uh, six weeks of my time to build um, and uh, uh, I first took it out to Steep Carnival down in uh, Long Beach where they had a uh, large interactive arcade, home-built arcade uh, festival, which was really fun. Uh, I got to meet Kane of Kane's Arcade. That was Hello, I'm Justin Chu. I uh, run a uh, online and also local 3D printer and supply store in Pasadena, actually. Uh, and we've been selling phone for about three years. This is a uh, uh, you know eight by twelve inch build plate with a twenty two and a half inch uh, build height. Uh, it runs standard G code. They actually the uh, Fusion Tech company um, writes a uh, slicer that you can actually use with uh, in, uh, a couple of prints uh, just to show you how big it can print. This all took uh, a whole week, uh, so one hundred fifty hours. This took a Five days, 120 hours. Uh, it's just PLA print, um, and uh, you know these are more figurines, but I've printed technical stuff as well. Hello, I'm Michael Starch. I'm from the SGV Tech Consortium thing. So what I've got here is a fingerprint controlled LED uh, desk lamp without the actual lamp structure, but it demonstrates some of the circuits. So what we've got is a nice fingerprint scanner here, and if I get the right fingerprint here. <laughs> and now I'm blind, thank you very much. So, and then you can dim it, it is dimming, and then it shuts back off. So you, you saw three levels of dim, and well, now I can't really see. Kind of <laughs> but, uh, so basically, this is a project that I've created for my little cousin. I started in December or November. I went home for Thanksgiving, and she was like, I like to do my homework late at night, but my sister always turns off my desk lamp. And I said, aha, I can over-engineer this solution. And so I immediately went online and found one of these guys, and hooked it up to an Arduino, like, three days later, and had a little LED blinking, and I said, I'm 90% done. A uh, servo is, uh, see this thing here? This is a servo. The little wheel. Oh, okay, okay. It's the same thing used in radio control cars right, right, right. to do the steering, usually. Uh, it used to also control the speed because they'd have it on a wiper arm on the SketchUp 3D warehouse. Um, and you look under the, you look under the word uh, servo toolkit, like a toolkit. It's about servo toolkit. You can see this diagram that I wrote, where it basically shows the uh, torque of a servo versus like a can of Pepsi or a, a six pack. So bad, yeah. you really can't. Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs>